Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is video number 14, and in this video, we're going to be adding a blog to your website. So let's talk about adding a blog to your site. Now, the Humans of Nelson site doesn't need a blog, which is why I've waited this long in the tut tutorial to show you how to add one to your site. But there's a good chance that you want to blog on your site, so I am going to show you how to do that right now. So we're logged into our site, we want to go under pages, and we want to click on the plus icon here, and we're going to add a blog. Right now the default is uh, to name this new blog, but let's just call it blog. So we replace that, press enter, and it'll take us over to the blog section. But I want to go back to pages real quick before we add a new blog post. And what you'll notice is that blog is by default the first um, link in the menu bar, and we don't want it to be the first link, maybe the second. So let's go ahead and drag this underneath the home link, and that'll make the change on the site. That looks good. Okay, so now let's click into the blog here, and you'll see we've got no blog posts. Um, but this is where we add a new blog post. So we want to make sure that we're in the blog section. You can see it's underlined there in the menu bar. And we'll hit this plus icon to add our new blog post. So we'll just call this my first blog post. And this is pretty cool. So when we click into the body here, you'll notice it's just like um, the pages we're working on where we've got these teardrops where we can add any kind of block of content that we want. Um, so it's really versatile, these, these blog posts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, first thing I'll do is I'll add an image. Uh, let's go find that here. And it, I believe it's going to be this one. And I've already kind of created a dummy uh, blog post already that I can enter in here uh, with a bunch of text and stuff. So I'll grab that as soon as the image uploads. Now that we've got our image, um, we've got all the same options that we have for every other image. We can um, add links to it and captions, but I'll just leave it as it is right now and click save. So there's our image. And I'm going to add some text. So I'm just going to go over here to my Google Docs and uh, copy and paste some text in for my blog post. Control C, Command C, and go back here and do Command or Control V. Uh, so there it is. It looks like the format formatting went uh, a little bit wonky on me. So I'm going to select that all here and click this uh, um, remove format button. So I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and bold you bet I am. So again, just kind of showing you that you can do all sorts of things with this text. You can make um, certain parts of the text um, a heading or a quote, um, adding videos and images, whatever you want. So I think this looks pretty good. So just show you some other things really quick while you're um, um, in this edit post option block here. And you can add tags and categories to your blog posts. A lot of people do that. That's good for um, being able to um, get search engine optimization on your blog post to help people find your blog posts. It also helps when you get, um, you know, you fill out your blog and you've got dozens or hundreds of blog posts. It's good to be able to have categories and tags so that you can organize your blog posts, um, create index pages and things like that. Um, but for now, I'll just, I'll just leave it. Um, but just wanted to show you where that was. There's some more options here. You can add a thumbnail image. You can add these excerpts, which is like a little blurb, short blurb about the blog post, um, which is used in various parts of the, uh, the website, but I'm going to leave that blank as well. Something that you can play around with as you need to. And there's author in here and, uh, and things like that. You can add a location and you can even um, get your blog posts sent to your social media um, sites as you want. But I think that looks good. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and press save. If I save and publish, the, the blog goes live. If say I'm just writing this and I want to edit it later, I can just click save. Uh, and go look at it later before I publish it. So I'm going to hit save and just show you what that looks like. Um, so now you can see that there's draft under this blog post. Um, and when I'm ready to publish it, I can go under settings and hit save and publish. And so now you can see that it was published today at 12.58. So there's my first blog post. 
uh, that there's the nice big image and here's my my text. So let's go ahead and add another blog post. So basically every time I'm adding a new blog post, I'm doing it under the blog page. So you can see again, I'm under the blog section here of my website and I can just keep adding blog as many blog posts as I want. So I'm gonna add another one here and this one I'm gonna just call my second <laughs> blog post. And this one's just gonna have just some text. It's not even gonna be all that long and it's not gonna have an image because again, you can you can add anything you want to it. So you can get really creative um, with these blog posts, really neat. So I'm, again, I'm gonna just remove my formatting on that. And I'm just gonna publish it. So now you see this one doesn't have an image. Um, so now you'll also notice that this is the actual blog post um, showing up on the screen right now. And it links back uh, through a little navigation here to my first blog post, which I can click on that and get into my first blog posts. Now, what if I wanna see the list of all the blog posts? Well, for that, all I need to do is go click on blog here and you'll see the like a normal blog, the latest blog post is always the one that's on the top and it goes down chronologically from that. So that looks really good. Um, one of the things you'll notice um, that might be different than a lot of blogs that you've seen out there is this blog post or this blog doesn't have a sidebar. By default, I believe um, in this particular Squarespace theme, the blog post just centers itself and takes up the whole page. Um, I personally like that. If I was going to have a blog on this site and uh, um, add one to the Humans of Nelson site, I would have no sidebar. But a lot of people like a sidebar, so let me show you how to add that. So if I go back to pages and I go into home, I want to go find design style editor and this is where I can do uh, things to my to my blog style so if I scroll all the way to the bottom all these options come up I can change my blog title so I'm gonna do that real quick so it's defaulted to some um, some font here and I'm gonna ch change that to Helvetica just because I can you can change it to whatever you want and I'm also going to change my font size to you know, something a little bit bigger and bolder. I like that. Everything else looks good, but I could change the color if I wanted to. Um, page width is something that I might want to change. So right now it's really wide, but as I as I scroll this down, my text comes in. And now it doesn't show really what that means um, in the top blog post because there's no text that goes all the way across. But let's go scroll down to the first blog post and you can see um, how by going wider, it's nice, it takes up the full screen, but I actually like my uh, uh, the lines of my text on a web page to be a little bit tighter, I find it easier to read, so I've squeezed that in. Um, the blog post spacing is the spacing that's right here, and now I can actually um, do this manually here. You can see the number on the left going up and down as I change this, but um, you can change the spacing between the blog posts. Um, you can hide or show the author, so if I go, right now it has hide author as the default, but I just unselected that, so now it says Ryan Oakley. Now all these blog posts are gonna be by Ryan Oakley, so I'm gonna go hide it. That's something you can change. Now this is where you add the sidebar. Um, right now it's under center, so when it's centered for the blog layout, there's gonna be no sidebar. But if I go uh, right sidebar, um, you can see the space opens up now there's no sidebar there, but we can go add one, and I'll go do that one, Do that right now. Uh, so that's how you make the changes to the styling of the blog. So let's go, hit, go ahead and hit save. Go back to design, go back to home, and go to pages, and we wanna make sure we're selected on the blog. So when the blog comes up, you'll see an option here for sidebar content. And if we go ahead and click edit on that, Again, you can add any type of block that you want. So you could just add some text, uh, which you might want to do if you want to like add some links. Um, let's say I wanted to um, promote my book. Maybe I'm going to go add an image, and maybe I'll go find my book image and, um, and add that. Let me see if I can go find it. It is going to be right here. So that image is going to load up 
that shows the book. And let's just say I wanted to make my book um, or the image to the book link over to the book sales page. I can go do that. Go find the page and go find book here under content. And when my book loads up, I can click save. So click save here. And there's the book. So now I can save the, the sidebar. Um, so there you go. Now I've got the blog post on the left and the sidebar on the right. And that looks good. So that's pretty much it on how to set up a blog on your website.